everyone! Welcome to the inaugural first episode of Terminally Nerdy. I'm your host, Clay. Hello! And this is going to be a... I guess a relaunching and more focused of previous endeavors. So, if you are anybody from the YouTubers community, or... Well, let me move this chair. I just realized it's probably in the shot. And uh, any of you, you know, watched my previous stuff, well, you're going to find something a little different here. So this channel is entirely going to be vlogs, editorials, basically me talking to you. Hi again. And you can thank a couple of specific people, uh, Little Big Gamers, Walking Virus Gaming, Doc Shattered, K Room, um, I know, uh, know I'm missing two people right now, <laughs> and... Uh, Adman or Adam Cooper for convincing me to at least continue doing YouTube. I had an old channel. It is no longer in existence. Don't bother trying to find it. I literally deleted the thing off the face of the planet. Nuke. So, we're going to try my hand at this. Now, this is a first video. It's also going to be kind of like the channel trailer and everything. So, I'm going to be kind of here giving you an idea of what to expect and who I am. If you saw the last or first vlog on the old channel, kind of a similar thing, only we're setting things up for the future here. So, what you're going to find here is stuff, nerdy things. I might talk about books that I've read, favorite musical acts, video games that I like. I might discuss topics like how to get into role playing or how to role play. I'll have tips about speaking. Because apparently I'm very good at that. <laughs> so I've been told. You'll find uh, little book reviews and game reviews, all verbal, like this. So you won't be finding any game footage or anything. You're not going to find fancy editing. Uh, I'll talk about wrestling on occasion. I happen to be a fan. Not a huge one, but a big enough one. Uh, I might show off some of my uh, RPG collection and talk about it. I'm also going to do stuff that I'm going to call Tales from the Tabletop, where I'll discuss some of the more entertaining stories that I have that I can recall from my, uh, my 20 years of playing tabletop games and other games like that. So, you know, lots of just little nerdy things. You're not going to find me talking about my day-to-day -day life. I'm not going to be like, well, my work was boring, and I went to the movies. You're not going to find that. It's not me. I like focus. So every single episode will be self-contained in a focus thing. There might be some two-parters, certain things, like how to get into role-playing. I definitely want to talk about that, but that's definitely something that takes a lot more effort. And, uh, yeah. But you won't find stuff about TV. I don't watch TV. The only thing I watch on TV is wrestling. You might get some stuff about anime that I'm watching on occasion, if I find something really interesting to talk about, because I do watch anime with my wife. Uh, you won't get a lot about movies. I might talk maybe one day about like my top five favorite movies of all time, but I'm not big into going to the theater and spending like $12, $14 per ticket. <laughs> Just not a thing I do. I tend to prefer um, my pastimes to be either something that makes my brain work, which is like why I like reading, or something interactive, which is why I like gaming. So, that's the kind of stuff you're going to find on this channel. Now, about me and who I am. So, my name is Clay. I'm 34 at the time of this recording. I live in Florida. Yes, it's as bad as everyone claims it is. Florida man is a real thing, and you all don't see half the shit that comes down around here. Our Walmarts are terrifying at times. Ugh. I've been married for about nine years now, together with the same woman for 11. We have a, you know, happy existence. Ish. No, happy for us. Obviously, I wish I could be not in the apartment that I'm in. Uh, I have been playing video games since the days of the Atari 2600. So I'm 34. I was born in 82. My first console was an Atari 2600, complete with the wood grain, the flip switches, all that stuff. Uh, it burned up, apparently. There was a fault in mine. The AC adapter burned up. Never got a new one. I've pretty much owned the vast majority of major consoles... With the exception of, I've never owned a Sega Saturn, a Sega Dreamcast, or a Nintendo 64. I've never owned those. Uh, but I've at times owned Sega Master Systems. I had two. That was actually what I grew up on. 
Uh, I've had an NES, I've had a Super Nintendo, I've had a Sega Genesis, I've had a Sega CD, I've had pretty much all the Nintendo handhelds at some point or another in my life, except for the new 3DS XL, the very latest. I've had PSP, I've had a Vita, I've had a PS1, 2, and 3. At an OG Xbox, I got a 360 over there, I got a Wii over there, I got a PS2 over there, I've had a PS1. Um, you know, I haven't ever owned, and I don't intend to own, an Xbox One or a PS4 or anything after this. This whole console thing is just meh. Not my thing. Uh, on top of that, I've been PC gaming since probably about 94. My first computer was a Compact Presario 520 all-in-one desktop. I will always remember my first. It had a, a three and a quarter inch floppy drive. It had a CD tray. Uh, it had four whole megabytes of RAM and a 486 processor. It was flying, man. Yeah. Uh, I grew up on the likes of games like the original Warcraft Orcs vs. Humans, uh, you know, the King's Quest series, Legend of Kyrandia, Doom, Doom 2, Hexen, Heretic, uh, Betrayal at Krondor, uh, Baldur's Gate 1 and 2, Icewind Dale 1 and 2. You know, I've, I've basically played all the classic retro games when they came out. And I still game to this day, but not just video games. I'm also a table, as I said, I'm also a veteran of tabletop role-playing game for about the last 20 years. I've been playing since, again, about 94, 95. I started in high school with 2nd edition D&D. I've played 2nd, 3rd, 4th, and 5th edition D&D. I've played Savage Worlds. I've dabbled with Rifts, a ton of other systems that I'm not even going to bother with. Just tons of stuff. I tend to be the Dungeon Master. I actually probably was only the player until about the year 2000. So for the last 16 years, I've been the DM for every game I play because I'm the only one who grasps the rules, apparently. In addition to that, I've also played a ton of collectible card games. Started on Magic in about 95. Off and on, I stopped a couple of years ago and I'm never going back. No more cardboard crack, please. Also played Spoils, Pokemon, uh, I learned Yu-Gi-Oh! but never really played it. Uh, a ton of others, it's just random card games here and there. Uh, I also have a tendency to play board games, both American and European style. So, you know, I'll play anything from Monopoly and Risk all the way up to Settlers of Catan. I own Seven Wonders, Munchkin, all over the place. Run the gamut. On top of that, I've also played miniature wargaming. I've played the big guys. I've played Warhammer Fantasy, Warhammer 40k, War Machine, Hordes. I've also played Malifaux and Learned Infinity. I tend towards gaming. It's a passion and a hobby. I've even gone so far as to write my own miniature war game rule set, which is actually available online, and I'll put the link in the box below if you want to go check it out. It's pay what you want. Feel free to grab a copy. I warn you, it's not terribly balanced. You can break the game very easily as it's a build-your-own uh, build your own miniature. So it's like kind of like a cross between a tabletop RPG and a miniature war game. One of these days I'll get around to actually fixing it. Um, I've also created a couple of HTML5 games using Construct 2. They no longer exist. They got purged from uh, Scariah's or Saraya's website. Lost to the annals of time. So when I talk gaming, I'm talking it from the perspective of a guy who's been at it pretty much his whole life, and I love it. It's, it's what I do. It's my thing. You know, I grasp rules and I grasp systems very, very quickly. You know, you put me in front of a new game and I'm going to be like, okay, how's this work? Oh, as a note, um, I've played somewhere in the neighborhood of 115 different massive multiplayer online games. MOBAs, RPGs, FPSs. If it's massive multiplayer online, there's a good chance I've played it <laughs> for at least about two hours. I got a whole list of them. It's ridiculous. Where's my life go? I'm also a WoW player. I play with my wife. Been playing that for since vanilla, since bef right before Zulgarub 20 Man release. I think it was 1.6. I've played in every expansion. I'm going to be playing in Legion next week. Not going to be there at launch, though. I am not touching it on August 30th. That is insane. Assuming it doesn't get crushed. Eh. So there you have it. That's a bit about me. That's who I am. And that's what this channel is going to be about. 
It's going to be about my nerdy hobbies, me talking about them. If you have questions, leave them in the comments. I'll try to address them on an episode as I go along. Um, I tend to record in bulk, so there's a good chance you know, I'll miss your question. If I get your question, I'll either answer it in the comments or I'll answer it in a video. One of the two, depending on the kind of question it is. Uh, expect two videos a month. I'm a 34-year-old guy with a 40-hour-a-week job. This is a hobby for me. And as you can clearly see, not a lot of production value. I'm not good at that. Hey! I'm a slacker. So, again, uh, I hope this channel actually grows. And if it doesn't, it doesn't. I'm having fun doing it. This is going to be the focus. Just you and me, guys. You, me. I pointed the wrong way. That was you and me. Together forever. You're not going anywhere. <laughs> anyway, if you like what this sounds like and you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. If you think I'm a giant fat neck beard, hit the dislike button. Feel free or whatever. Leave a comment. Tell me how you feel about it. And thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.